Hello guys, this is Mr. Splish Vasili. <laughs> well, kind of, because I'm back playing as a sniper in Dirty Bomb. Those of you that have been following me for some time know that I mainly play as a sniper in most FPS games. But when it comes to Dirty Bomb, well, first off, I'm not playing this game like every week nowadays. But I come back to it once in a while and it's always really fun. But lately I haven't been playing as a sniper, I've been trying out or I'm playing with other classes. So with that said, it was over a year since I played as Vasili, which is my favorite merc you might say when it comes to the sniper uh, possibilities in this game. And I'm using the same loadout by the way, you will see that happening all through the video. But even so, as you see, I'm hitting some bangers now and then, still in this game I'm playing quite aggressive most of the time, because I like to be where the action is. Don't let it reach the crash site. But if you're going to really become a good sniper, I strongly believe that you have to get your accuracy up there, both when it comes to long range sniping and also close range. And as I mentioned, I had some really good gameplay when it comes to the first matches I did. Then I fell back a bit later on. I think I lost concentration when it comes to my last matches, uh, getting clips and everything. But even so, I have reached a point where I can be quite consistent though. And uh, also here in Dirty Bomb, since it's a very fast paced game. And what would I compare it with? Well, when it comes to the movement, it can be as fast like a almost like an arena shooter or why not a Call of Duty game. But there's definitely a big a significant difference playing Dirty Bomb compared to, for example, Call of Duty. And that has to do with damage as well. The snipers here, well, if you're going to get like a one shot kill, you need to hit the head or at least the upper chest. And I think it needs to be like that. Otherwise, it would probably not be balanced, to be honest. If you're playing with a good team, you can definitely get some more space for yourself moving on the map. And as said, getting into more close quarter situations and do damage. And also, of course, being able to spot enemies you should never forget to do that and if you once again you have good teammates they will take advantage of that they are checking the minimap the hud and they will definitely see if you spot the enemies so make sure to do that all the time that's an important task that is designed also to mr vasili here in dirty bomb but i like this kind of challenge when it comes to playing as a sniper especially if you can play with your team moving with your team and not only stand in the shadows in the far back of the map don't get me wrong that is fine too but I can't really do that. I, I get bored quite quickly and to be honest with you, I also want to be there and contribute for my team. You can actually do both. If you spend the time, as mentioned early on in the video, get your accuracy up there, but also your reflexes so you can take the shot and even though you don't kill at first, you can bring out the secondary and finish the job. And even though you don't kill the actual enemy, I'm not sure how many clips I have here when I only hit people, uh, probably a few. But it will do damage and some people, some players get very careful and they back off and you have won some time and maybe some of your teammates will come around and also assist you and help you with the situation. Most of the time when I'm doing well in a game like this is also when the team is doing well. Meaning again, teammates that do understand that for example, if they die, maybe two of them, they don't just get in there and get killed instantly. You have sometimes to be a bit tactical in a game such as Dirty Bomb and other competitive. And I say competitive shooters because there's definitely competitive elements in Dirty Bomb, even though it is a arcade-ish looking shooter. Then you have to wait. Uh, don't rush in there, wait until you have more people with you more people that have spawned in your team and you will be able to get that pressure up and going again and that is definitely true if you're playing as a sniper as a Vasili for example don't push too hard if you're alone make sure that you have people around you especially if you're not that experienced because you will definitely need their help and their support because this is a team-based game and you should never forget that Spot 
Boom, wrecked by Javelin. <laughs> Jokes aside, I hope you are enjoying this and if you are, let me know in the comments of course and your experiences if you are playing as a sniper or if you'd like to do that. I know that some guys don't like that at all and that's fine, you know, this is definitely what we are talking about. A game such as Dirty Bomb has very significant mercenaries, meaning classes, and they have designed that really well in my opinion. I've talked about that before and therefore the sniper class has a very significant role and I think I've tried to cover most most of it here in the video but of course that's not for everyone and if you're new for example and you're just getting into playing as a sniper and especially then also going into a game such as dirty bomb make sure to stick with teammates don't run around corners and if you do for god's sake have your secondary up and running <laughs> because if you're not used to play with a sniper close combat that can be your life savior and as mentioned also make sure to spot 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 whenever you can so you help out your team and make sure to position yourself so you have your back covered if you're not used to read the HUD or minimap as often as I try to do all the time when playing. There's of course a lot of other things that I could mention. This was not really meant to be like a tutorial or tips or anything, but hey, it just turned into that a bit. But foremost, I hope you enjoyed and it was a bit entertaining to watch. And if it did, please give me a like, it helps me out on YouTube. Take care my friends, game on and see you later. Second detonator is there. So.